Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back to another video. Uh, in this video, I want to show you a quick little demo of how I made this speaker. And uh, this is the reference that I had. And it's, uh, you know, it's not a one-to-one -one ratio. I was doing it by eye. It's uh, really good to have multiple angles of your object you're modeling. Uh, but I'll just show you quickly uh, the like a breakdown of uh, how I made this just using basic cylinders. It's one cylinder duplicated over and over again. And it's uh, broken down into different parts, as you can see. For example, this little mesh, uh, the bottom piece is the same cylinder, uh, the top piece, same thing, same cylinder, and even the control panel here is the same cylinder, just uh, I deleted some faces. Uh, so in this video, I'll just show you how I did it uh, piece by piece, so maybe you can make something on your own. Uh, so actually, let's, uh, let's start with that. I'll show you how I made this uh, logo first. Uh, so let me just collapse all of these and uh, go to the top view here. And let me just hide all of these lights here, or maybe let's hide them from viewport as well, so we can see better. Also the camera for now. And uh, so, for example, you want to create this logo. Uh, what you would do is obviously start with the circle, uh, scale it down. Uh, so, for example, this is uh, the bigger piece here. Uh, now we need one more. So just hold Control, copy. Uh, make it smaller. So now you have two splines, bigger and smaller uh, circle, as you can see here. Uh, now what we can do is take the pen tool and create the uh, crossbar between the two shapes. So as you can see, you can just go like this. And there you go. So you have the crossbar. Uh, now let's add some points to the middle uh, to have that um, transition better. So I'm going to hold uh, control again and uh, add two points. I uh, go to my live selection tool and just move these points in a little bit. And we have to do a uh, so, uh, soft interpolation for these uh, for this point here to make it better. So something like this. Now we can jump out to the object mode and take these three shapes. So I'm holding shift selecting them and go inside here and just do a simple union. And that's going to take those three shapes and give us this shape right here. And then from there, I uh, basically all you have to do is take the shape and drop it inside uh, the extrude. And as you can see, it's just on the wrong axis here. So 0 and 20. And this is basically how I made uh, this little shape right here is using splines. And then I added uh, some beveling to it and uh, obviously scaled it down and moved inside the position. Uh, so that's that. For the mesh, itself uh, for this right here if we jump inside the material is really simple uh, so you activate uh, reflectance color and alpha channel for the alpha channel if i go inside as you can see it's basic circles uh, the global scale is dropped to 80 or uh, 50 percent and all i did is change the tile color all to white and uh, uh, the first color to black and now we're getting this positive and negative effect and uh, that's how we get all of these holes, as you can see, punched out. And now for the color, uh, you know, the mesh is kind of like uh, metallic, plastic slash, you know, grayish looking color. So you can control the color here. And for the reflectance, you can set up, you know, speculars or you can do Beckman or, uh, uh, you know, other method GGX to get the plastic or metal result you go going after. Uh, now let's move on to the top piece. Uh, really simple. All I did is took a cylinder just like this and I scaled it down. Obviously going by eye, uh, it's not you know really 100% one-to-one -one ratio to the reference, uh, but it's basically what I did. And uh, I just dropped it inside the subdivision surface uh, just like this. And the reason it's not working is because you have to do C, uh, make it editable, I'll go to points, uh, control A and optimize couple times and now we're getting this shape and basically from here you have to add some loop cuts uh, to uh, you know make this shape work so uh, let's go for example to the face mode let's do ml and let's add our first cut on the bottom uh, then we'll add a supporting edge around here and now we add and now we can just scale the top piece here so you do ul uh, go to um, edges select your edge t scale it down 
right about there. Uh, now let's go back to faces. Let's uh, deactivate the subdivision surface real quick. So we can model the next uh, part here. So we're going to select the top uh, edges or uh, the top faces. Do I for inner extrude. And then we're going to extrude down, hold the control. And now let's do another inner extrude. And now we're going to extrude up. And now we're going to do one more inner extrude to add some uh, subdivisions inside. And same thing here. Select all of the faces, I. Add some uh, supporting edges. And now let's turn on uh, the subdivision surface. And as you can see, uh, this is basically our shape. And uh, we're missing, I think, two cuts uh, to get nice and crisp, as you can see on the reference, nice and crisp edge on top. Uh, so it's basically the same thing. You go to your faces. Let's do ML and just add two cuts. So we'll do 90% here. Do one more. Another 90. Jump out. And there you go. Uh, we have our nice uh, little shape. I did the same thing uh, for the bottom, so I can just delete this. For the bottom is the same uh, cylinder, like I just showed you. Uh, you make a cylinder, you shape it into uh, whatever you have on the reference, basically. And don't forget to optimize and um, you know add these supporting edges uh, based on the reference. And obviously you have to scale some things down, like uh, see at the bottom portion here, we have the transition uh, there. Uh, but anyway, I'm not going to show you the same thing here. Uh, for the control uh, panel, uh, the way I did it is the same cylinder. As you can see, I have the cylinder inside. If I duplicate and uh, make it editable, click in C, go over my faces, and now I can just jump to front mode, select, for example, uh, first four faces here and if you want to get more precise we can add some loop cuts so we can just do one here one here for example uh, select four or five faces and now we just do select invert or UI and all you have to do is delete uh, those faces and basically now you drop uh, this uh, inside panel uh, into subdivision surface and you get something like this and from there, you, you have to really play around with these points to get the desired um, rounding. So let's try to position this. Let's undo the subdivision surface and move these down, maybe something like this. Uh, take the next points, move it down even more. Uh, let's turn it on. And as you can see, we're getting that rounding. And uh, to get a better uh, you know, control over it, you can just ML and add more supporting edges. And now we're getting even more uh, control of how round it is. So as you can see, you can move this down maybe more. Bring these two up. And that's basically how you control you know, how your shape uh, looks. Uh, so as you can see already, we're getting a nice and round result uh, close to the reference here. Uh, but that's basically how I did uh, this part here. And uh, for the final you know, result, all I did is extruded. So if I turn off the uh, subdivision surface into UL and just select my loops here. And now we have to deselect other edges. And basically you do uh, control, extrude once and then extrude twice. And if we turn on our subdivision surface, jump out, uh, we're getting a nice and round shape, uh, basically close enough that we have on the reference. And as you can see, this part here is flat, and then we have a bevel around it. And I did the same thing on mine. I did a flat, and then I have the bevel. And uh, the way you do that, if we jump back to faces, and let's turn off the subdivision surface, uh, what we can do is uh, select for example, these, and let's add more here. Select these uh, points here, and we're going to click T to scale it down. And we're just going to scale up to zero on the Z. And now, as you can see, uh, all of them are flat. 
and we can move them around and get the flatness or uh, bulkiness we want. So for example, something like this. And now if we turn on the subdivision surface, oops, as you can see, we're getting a flat surface here. Then we have the uh, nice uh, little bevel around it. Anyway, that's uh, pretty much it, uh, how uh, this little speaker was made. And I'll just give you a quick render in a second. And uh, for the materials, it's really simple. I just, you know, color picked uh, the colors from the reference. And uh, some of them just have basic color. And uh, two, for example, one wide and then one uh, narrow uh, specular. And then I have Beckman set to additive on 20%. That's how we're getting that metallic look on top. Uh, for this material, is just uh, color and reflectance. And then the specular is set to 80%. Uh, so we're really getting like a fall off and uh, really diffuse look, almost like a rubbery look. And for the floor, just basic white color. And uh, for the mesh, like I said, it's just alpha color and basic uh, specular only reflectance. And now if we turn on all of the camera and all of the lights, and I'll give it a quick render, uh, you can see if we got a really nice result. Uh, let me just render it out. So as you can see, guys, this is the model that I made, and uh, this is our reference here. Uh, like I said, uh, it's not you know one-to-one -one replica here, uh, but I was going by eye. And don't be afraid to break down your models into simple shapes and uh, shape it the way you want it to. And uh, like I said, uh, for the rest of the object, for example, uh, this little piece here, if I uh, open this up, it's just a simple cube. Uh, scale down and, and uh, fillet was added to give it the rounding as you can see here uh, same thing uh, for the plus sign it's just two cubes to make it smaller uh, made it smaller and uh, added fillet anyway guys uh, hopefully this video helped you in any way please subscribe leave it a like and uh, uh, you know have fun modeling uh, different objects using simple shapes uh, have a good day and uh, I'll see you in my next video guys goodbye